So this is a painting that I did last week on the wall in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yes. You seen that? Something like it. Well, I did it, so maybe you saw something else I did, like maybe in Wynwood. Yeah, I'm the same guy. So this is a mural that I did, um, and I'm looking down from the roof because you can't get very far away from it, so that's kind of why it, well, it probably doesn't look weird to you, but it, it, it's a weird angle. So I was commissioned to do this uh, last week, well, for a while, but it's in an apartment complex in Minneapolis. Here's some details from that painting. So this is all made out of just spray paint. I did the whole thing in two days. And here's another mural that I did two weeks ago. Back in my home territory, I live in Los Angeles, California. And this is right near my house. This is on a place called Davis Brothers Tires. So it's a tire store that asked me to paint this mural on the side of their wall. There's a bus stop there, as you see. I like to do murals. I like to do paintings that a lot of people see. And this is a corner on a very busy part of the city. And thousands of people see it every day, which I like. These are just details from that. This is all from my Instagram. Okay, so this is something else that I did. About three weeks ago, I had a, op a show, I show in, in galleries as well, and this is the Honor Fraser Gallery, is a place that I had a show at in, in Los Angeles. And when you go upstairs, or you've been asked to collect garbage, am I right? Plastic? So this is kind of what I did with it. It's all toys and plastic stuff I found in the garbage over the past maybe year or two. And I strung them together like maybe you're going to do. You can do it with fishing wire, but these are much bigger. And um, so it's a plastic is something that unfortunately is everywhere. I'm sure you notice when you go to the beach, there's lots of pieces of plastic and bottle tops everywhere. You guys talk about that? Yeah? So I decided that because plastic doesn't ever go away and because plastic is very brightly colored, it's a good material for artists. And also plastic is free because it's everywhere. So you can't, there's plenty of material to use to work from. So that's me actually on the roof putting this together. See, I have ropes and old cars and toys. Has anyone heard of Andy Warhol? Okay, so that's Andy Warhol, and that's me when I was younger, when he was alive. Andy Warhol was an artist um, that I looked up to very much, and he was someone that inspired me to move to New York City, and I made it all the way there, and I got to be friends with him. So. This is a friend of mine, her name was Paige Powell. She had a show, and I took a picture of that in her show. And there is Andy Warhol with a camera that I painted. So I do this thing called customizing, where I take everything from cameras, to cars, to telephones, to TV sets, to blenders, to anything you have in your house or outside your house that you use every day. I think a lot of stuff looks really boring, so I like to make it look exciting. And I think it changes how boring life could be and makes it exciting. And that's how living with art can make your, your whole day and your whole world and your whole life change. This is a painting that I did recently. It's in that show in the gallery inside uh, where all those plastic toys were hanging. This is a painting that was inside. So 
This is something that I did about a month ago. You can see I've been pretty busy lately. Uh, does anyone know the otter's cause? Okay, so as you can see, there's this cause giant sculpture. And I was asked to paint the garage behind it. So here we are collaborating or showing together. So most parking garages are pretty boring, wouldn't you say? Not very interesting. So I like to take things that are really boring that we have to look at every day and make them exciting. And I think it's really great that all it takes is one person, paint, and my hand, and a lift, and I can do that. So I feel pretty lucky about that, pretty happy about that. So these, I should have showed another picture with a little sense of scale, but this is a show that I have up right now in a place in Spain. You guys know where Spain is? It's far away. Uh, and it's 120 something paintings. And I'm trying to, I hope there's one with a person in it. So a person would be standing maybe as high as the red guy. That's how, how big these paintings are and take up a lot of space. See the stairwell? So I like, I like things with color. I like things that make you feel something and make me feel something. Oh, I'll go back to that. Um, so this is a sculpture. And it's also a picnic table with a bench. Do you, you guys recognize what, the, what it is of the image? What? Explosion. It's a, actually a cartoon version of a nuclear explosion. Um, so there's a lot of um, realness. You know, I'm sure you guys learn as well that we have exploded nuclear bombs in the past, and we don't want to do that again. And I don't want anyone to think I'm making fun of that, because I'm not. Um, I'm just kind of showing what life is like. Now, this is a show I had in Korea last year. And in Korea, there's a lot of fear uh, of in South Korea. And if you guys know about North Korea, there's two countries that are, used to be connected. And now there's a lot of fighting that went on in the past. And there's a lot of fear around the world of North Korea having a nuclear bomb and using it. So it's a way of, in a way, it's making humor in a very s scary situation. Um, so, but I'm not making fun of it. So I was talking about that, we showed that camera, which is cu a customized camera. So I do this other thing, it's called car bombs. And here's an example of uh, people bring me their car and within 20 minutes to half an hour, they leave driving around a car like that. Uh, I think they're crazy, but I love it. Uh, I've done it to over 250 something more cars all over the world. I do it for free. I don't charge anything. Um, and it's all because of Instagram. I was painting a mural somewhere and someone drove up and said, hey, will you paint my car? And I said, sure. And I, I painted something like that. And then I put that on Instagram and I wrote, anyone who wants their car painted, bring me your car. And then every time I painted a new car, I put that on Instagram and it's kind of like a snowball effect. Here's another mural I did a year ago in Copenhagen. You can see I've been busy painting all over the world. Copenhagen, does everyone, anyone know where that is? Denmark, in Europe. Here's another mural I did recently, but not too recently, because it was in the winter. This is in Long Island in the Nassau County Museum of Art. So this is a painting that is no longer in existence, but I decided to show, it's of me, of course, in front of a bomb again, 
Um, this was in Miami at the Wynwood Walls, but it's no longer there. Um, I think about things like the nuclear bomb and things that can destroy us and our world because something I, I fear and I don't want ever to happen again. So I like to bring it up um, in my art. This is another spray painting. I'm showing a lot of spray paintings. This is a lobby of a museum in Los Angeles, the Hammer Museum. I painted the whole lobby a couple years ago. So when I do these paintings, I don't have any idea what I'm going to do before I do it. I don't have any drawing. I just show up and decide what to do on the spot. I thought this was an interesting picture. So I had an opening also last year in Dubai. Does everyone, anyone know where that is? Okay. In the Emirates, way off in the far, far away, so far. Uh, and I just saw all these guys at the opening and I said, you guys look so good, can I take your picture? So this is a very large painting you can see behind me. Uh, it's about melting. And you guys talk about global warming at all? Climate change? So this is kind of, I'm feeling a lot of feelings about what's going on with our world. So it's kind of, my idea here is all of us together and we're all actually melting together. I hope that's not the case um, and I don't want that, but we have a lot to work on. So I decided to show this because this is very similar to what you're going to see upstairs. Uh, I make these rooms and I'd say that 99% of the pieces in the room upstairs and as well as this room uh, is made out of garbage, plastic mostly, things that I find in the trash. This is a, um, an installation that I did in Museum of Modern Art uh, about two years ago in the basement. There was a show about a nightclub that I was involved in when I was much younger, and they had a show about that, and I did this installation. So all these pieces of plastic garbage, and I'm showing you all these other, and having you guys collect plastic garbage, and you know, as you know, there's a big problem with plastic and garbage. And another thing that I wanted to talk about when we talk about plastic and garbage, is do you know what plastic is made out of? Fossils, no, but in a way, fossil fuels, yes. Trees, no, not plastic, is out of trees. Plastic is made out of petroleum, which is oil, which is what is causing our global warming and our climate change. Too many cars, too many planes, too many things emitting the fumes that come out of using petroleum. So plastic is just another example of how we have to get off petroleum and start thinking about new, new ways. So this is some pictures of me installing the show, MoMA. Oh, and when I talk about this, the environment and all this, I'm not trying to, to make anyone think a certain way. I'm just explaining the things that I think about when I make my art and what's important to me. There's another shot. So when you, when you go upstairs, you're going to have a place like that, very similar, that you get to hang out in. Lots of toys, not only garbage, sometimes toys from my kids when they were young, toys from my grandkids, toys from friends. People don't use toys anymore. They throw them away. I use black light. Do you know what black light is? So... Black light and fluorescent paint. You can all try that in your closet at home. <laughs> That's it. 